hope you're feeling fantastic, wonderful, superb, and delicious because I'm not today. I'm not myself. The whole idea of this video is to record my point of view on depression. Get started on them today then, do you? Is it one a day or two? It's one a day. But I start them today, so that's okay. I'm looking at this. I was hoping to start from yesterday. Yeah. But nope. Couldn't do that. Why not? Because they weren't ready. Oh. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not fun. A few things I need to get out of the way. No, this is not caused because I'm vegan. I've had depression for about 20 years. I've been fighting it. This time I've had to call for help. I'll get into that in a minute. I don't want sympathy or any weird comments on here. I just to listen. That's it, really. That's my point of view on this. This is what, what I'm seeing. This is how I perceive depression for myself. It may be different for you. So put in the comments what your depression looks like or feels like. I would say this cycle started about October, November, and then slowly got worse into January, February, March. First off, there's a difference between depression, sadness, anxiety, and uh, ADHD. They all somewhat play a part into each other. How I see depression, I, I want you to go outside and take a look at your world outside. Take a look at all the vibrant colors that you see. That's how my world was months ago. Now it's grayed out to a certain degree, of course. I've got some colors that I can see and that I'm holding on to because I'm afraid to let them go. That's where anxiety comes in. Imagine, imagine your world where when you wake up, every other morning there's colors missing. And instead of blue skies, there's like gray clouds starting to show up. Shadows are darker than usual. The trees aren't as bright as they were. They're kind of like faded almost. And every day when you wake up, it's, it's getting more and more faded. Less color everywhere. I, I'm holding on to the color the best I can. And anxiety comes into play with this. I go to sleep and I, and I wake up and I'm wondering what colors are now missing. Where this all started from, I'm not 100% sure. I know I've been bottling stuff up for quite some time, since 2016, after my dad passed away. Um, my world, it feels like it's, it's caving in a bit. It feels like it's just, there's these dark, shadowy hands coming at me and trying to grab a hold of me. And they've got a grip this time. It's a scary feeling. As I said, I've, I've called for help this time. I can't fight this on my own. I'm not strong enough this time. But I, I'm, I'm hurting this time. I'll, I'll tell you what it feels like. I'll tell you what this belt feels like. I, I used to be able to get up in the morning and go for runs. No problem. We get up, go for a 5K, Saturday, Sunday, go to work. And then something started coming at me. And it feels like I can't get a win. It got to the point where I would say to the bathroom, I'm going to go for a run. And I'll get my shoes on, I'll get my running stuff ready. And I would get to the door, I would open the door and I would stand on the step and I would look up and I could see gray clouds. And I'm like, I'm not going over there. I'll come in, so I've got to go to the bathroom. Or I, I got to, I'd always have an excuse. And then I would end up sitting down on the couch, playing video games like Fortnite, something. And... That I'd take out most of the day. I started May with a schedule that I thought for sure 
I'd be sticking to. It's fairly simple. I'll get home from work, I'll eat, and I just feel overwhelmed. And that's where the wall of awful comes in. And a wall of awful telling me constantly, you can't do this. Give up. Stop. Why are you even trying? Combined with the gray clouds that are forever looming around my head. And I go through these cycles too. And like, sometimes the cycles are nowhere near as bad as this. This is, this is to the point where I have called my doctor. You always have somebody. There's always going to be a hand to help you up. It's whether you accept it or not. And that's the end of this for right now. Have a great day. Or at least try to. Like, subscribe, comment, start a discussion. Hopefully I'm a bit brighter next time. I am going to try and work on some other videos that I want to do. But I got to get rid of this. There's always a brighter day, right? Have a good day. Till next time.